Welcome everybody to another Readers from Hell. I'm Andreas. Today we have the lovely Christina and we are starting the worst, the worst, shittiest piece of turd movies of 2017. Careful. Um, and Christina's going to start with hers. We're going to do it like that. We're going to just give her her chance to have a uh, worst 15. Because there's just so many shit bombs in 2017. <laughs> we had to make a worst we 15. We couldn't do 10. Couldn't do 10. <laughs> it's just impossible for us. Too many of them. All right, guys. So we, as we're going to do, we're going to take it from 15. And I'm wondering, do you have any uh, honorable, dishonorable mentions? I don't actually. And I, have, I can explain that. He watched a lot more shitty movies than I did because sometimes it was that shit I couldn't finish it. So I had to only put movies that I finished to make it fair. Fair enough. Fair so enough. I didn't put it. Okay, okay. Without any, um, without any uh, more talking, let's just get straight to the list, right? Okay. okay we're going to 15. Number 15. Beauty and the Beast. I told you this was going to be shit. I told you I this was going to be shit. I told you, I told you. When I saw, when I saw the cast, I saw that you know cast. What? I knew what they were going to do. They didn't put proper singers. I knew this was going to be full of auto-tune, full of crappy green screen. It I, just looked weird. In, when it, it comes to this work. movie, I ate my words because I kept telling him, oh, they're so perfect. Oh, my God. Emma Thompson. Oh, my God. Emma Watson. Thompson. They all sucked. Emma, uh, Emma Thompson, who she was Mrs. Potts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so auto-tuned. It's so boring. There's no chemistry. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. The beast, uh, the beast. He's supposed to be this really handsome prince. And he wasn't a handsome prince. Yeah, but, yeah he was supposed to be. But he didn't look like the beast. You know? He didn't look yeah. scary. They, didn't look, they I, just lost that. And uh, Gaston. Don't get me started with fucking Gaston. No. Um, um, I didn't like... Um, I don't like these uh, Disney live actions. They need to stop, period. Point okay, right. 14. Done. Number 14, Alien Covenant, because I'm a big fan of the Alien franchise, listen, Alien, Alien. All right, listen, listen. There hasn't been a good Alien movie mm. in yeah. 30 years, I if not more. The thing that angered me the most is that they are scientists and they're supposed to be clever. They make the stupidest decisions. And have you not learned, do not look into the egg. Don't look into the egg. Yeah, it's going to kill think, you. I think... Uh, I I think it had every really wrong horror cliche. Um, Jump scares, the weird, freaky, scary music. Awkward, stupid sex scenes after yeah. all your mates have died. Yeah, and all that stuff. I think, yeah, they... they um, it was awkward. Yeah, it was And they rubbish. tried to replace Ripley with another woman, and that she just, just did not deliver. Yeah. And the ending was so obvious. I'm not going to spoil it, but it was obvious we yeah. figured it out before it even ended. Yeah. Uh, number 13, please don't hate me. It's Split. Oh god, I hate this movie, even before the crappy ending came along. The only thing that actually held this movie together was James was McAvoy. James McAvoy, His nothing else. His acting was brilliant, but think of it this way before you're angry with me. If you remove him, well, you if, have a shit movie. If he did, no, just put it this way, if he didn't do as good as he did, the movie would have been us. Alright, but it... Didn't like the quick, easy, convenient twist in the end. M. Night Shyamalan, quit your day job. Okay, <laughs> the circle. <laughs> Number 12 is The Circle. Again, an Emma Watson movie. And I'm eating my words because I used to like her. Um, Tom Hanks, Emma shame Watson. Shame on you. Yeah, it should be, uh, it should be a shame to make this kind Boring. of movie. Boring. Been done before. The book was great and you ruined it. Um, it's been done before by another movie called Antitrust, by the way. Antitrust, if you call it. Mm -hmm. all right, it was a 2003 movie. It was before, you know, all this Facebook and uh, social media was a big thing, really. And mm. it made kind of sense, and it, it was quite shocking at the time. Now we're the, living, we're living at a time where where this we, is not shocking anymore. We know what's going anymore. on. We know what's going on. And the movie you know, went nowhere. And Tom Hanks pointless. is supposed to be Tom bad Hanks guy? in this movie. Is just, he did. Uh, he was just there. Yeah. I don't know. Right, number eleven is forty-seven meters down. I don't know if a lot of people watched this. It's with Mandy Moore <laughs> and this other blonde movie, Aussie it? woman. Is it a shark movie in the, it's in the, the shark cage? shark movie in the cage. Yeah. Hated the ending. Hated the middle. Boring, 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 cheap, CGI, jumps, yeah. uh, cheap jump scares, really cheap CGI. Probably the worst, the only movie that's a worse shark movie that's, that's this is Jaws of Revenge. Like it's up there. <laughs> Sharknado. And Sharknado, shit. Right, number um, 10, 
Death Note. Death Note, okay, which could have been an amazing, brilliant movie. I, and this is stuff. Could have done a good, right? Did this it is, this is uh, someone who hasn't seen the animation. I'm not really a big mm. fan of the anime. I, I, but just as by the story, Ye could have took this, and, and you've got fucking William Defoe. I mean, you know, he yeah. was perfect for the role, I think. And, and he done absolutely the, fuck the all. The monster Ryuk was, yeah. was done nicely. But, He's mostly in the shadows, but I think it was good because it was a low-budget movie, um, and you can tell. But, but um, Light is supposed to be, again, clever. He wasn't. He screams like a bitch in a pigsty. <laughs> and Lee was awful, too. And, and is it Lee, the detective? Uh, Whatever. No. Um, yeah. And But the one thing that stood out in hatred was Mia, the women character. I hated her from beginning to end. Yeah. Don't watch it. Uh, moving on to number nine. Mother! <laughs> I hate Jennifer Lawrence, but yeah, uh, it um, should have been good because you've got Michelle Pfeiffer, you've got Ed Harris, you've got Javier Bardem, you have all these amazing actors. Ignore Jennifer Lawrence, she should be in the trash where she belongs. Um, this movie was boring and it was confusing, and the symbolism was beautiful that Darren Aronofsky was trying to do, but he didn't show it well in the movie. And if you're gonna do something as deep as I'm not gonna spoil it, if you if you're going to do something deep as what he wanted to do, you should have shown it better and revealed it in the end. We had to Google it. Yeah. I knew it was a symbolism movie. It was metaphorical and all that stuff, but it just didn't work. Yeah. Right. Number eight. Flatliners. Oh, the movie speaks for itself. It. The title says it all. I think this movie was absolutely shitball flat. This it. movie was an abomination. I mean, the first one wasn't amazing. It was good. I thought it was a good movie for yeah. its time, especially. The idea is nice. But when you get all these pretty boys and girls to, and that can't really act, except for Ellen Page, really. And but, uh, what's his I'm name? I'm not going to spoil it, but she was boring as well. Yeah, she was absolutely horrific in the movie. Yeah. I mean, they actually, they, gave, they really didn't give her anything to work with, to be honest. Yeah. She tried yeah. at some point, but... Again, yeah. these people are supposed to be science students. And mo uh, so most of them don't even look the age to be fucking science students. Most of them are oh, not. What's his name? Um, uh, Luna? Uh, Diego, Diego Luna. Luna in it. Oh my god. 40? He's like, you know, 30 something years old and he's playing like a young. He was kid. the only one he's, that he's, I he's, had a likeness to. Yes, because because he was the only one who didn't try to flatline. And his hair, though. His hair, though. <laughs> no, avoid it. Bad. Uh, number seven was a movie that n probably nobody watched, and I haven't seen lots of people review. Hang he did. Hangman. Hangman. Unfortunately, you had all the uh, you had all the artillery to go to war with this movie and make something really nice. You have uh, Carl Urban and mm. Al Pacino. What a nice combination of Ignore actors. Ignore the Al Pacino that you know. But fuck's sake, did Al Pacino man fall Confused on his knees? Accents. And yeah. it was the most convenient mystery film I've ever seen. Yeah. He came up with the answers like this and yeah. it was all true. It doesn't happen like that. Uh, they tried, but... I hate it. Good though. soundtrack, though. Good soundtrack, though. Uh, number six. <sighs> rough rough night. night. Okay, rough night. I had a rough night while watching this shit. <laughs> Literally a rough morning, I think. Um, we <sighs> actually watched was. this and... Oh my fucking God. It was so um, stereotypical, standardised movie. Yeah. You got the ultimate... Jessica, uh, Melissa McCarthy look-alike doing the same Melissa McCarthy things. Yeah, You've I'm, got, I'm the fat um, girl that has to fall Chinese, down. No, sorry, Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson just wasting. What are you doing? Yeah, I know. Um, it was a shit. Demi Moore was actually in this crap. You just know oh, that God, the movie As a lesbian. <laughs> and, um... No, it was just bad. I didn't find it funny. And at it's a all. rip off and it's a fucking it's a rip, -off rip off of very bad things made in nineteen ninety eight with Cameron Diaz Which and Christian Slater. Which is probably a good movie. Yeah, right? and that no, that was a good movie, black humour that you should watch, mm -hmm. not this fucking rough night bullshit. Okay, I'm moving on to my top five and it was really hard to pick five that were more shit than what I just mentioned. The Emoji Movie. Now, this, this, this is not called the Emoji. This should be called the Emoji Movie. This movie is not a movie. This is a huge advertisement for uh, Just Dance, uh, Candy Crush, everything that all the kids do not play anymore, probably, on the Android and Apple. Uh, it mobile. sucked. The plot sucks. And people do wonder, like, well, what are they thinking trying to do a movie? Doing what are you doing? Yeah, I know. And what are you playing as Pooh and all that? But... You could have done something, I think, with this because 
at the end of the day, they did something with um, with um, Inside Out, which was kind of, if you think about it, it kind of, uh, you've got loads of characters that have one tone. Like in Inside Out, you had the characters that was um, anger. And even though he was always angry, he didn't have just one side. It yeah. wasn't boring. You're not like just all the, oh, Like all these yeah. fucking characters. All these characters, they were just so boring. You didn't give a shit about anybody. And that's where I, this movie just failed. Shame on you, Sony, again. God, Sony. Well, speaking of Sony... Is it Bay? I think it's Bay. It's thing. It's Sony. Ah, uh, it, it smells like. But anyway, Baywatch. 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 Four for okay, me. again, another movie that could have had some laughs. I mean, we have been surprised this year by oh, 2017. Sorry, by uh, movies like this, like um, Jumanji. I mean, I thought that was real. That was a lot of fun, and I, I was ex- and that made me eat my words. Believe me. Um, Baywatch though The every... only thing good about Baywatch was Zac Efron's body Yeah I mean it's a shame because he did put a lot of effort and you can tell It's wasted right, but It's really wasted And it was um, The Rock thinking that he was in Fast and Furious and San Andreas all over again all over the family. And uh, it was boring, really bad CGI on that ocean Put them on a real ocean you know I mean? Don't CGI the ocean, put them on the ocean Yeah and the fires And really the big... shit Cameo by Pamela Anderson uh, and David Hasselhoff. Oh, like probably, I blocked that out of my head. It was horrible. Okay, don't watch it. Number three, and it was only number three because of the good effects, and that's Transformers. Yeah, it was stupid. It's it's probably the worst plot of all of them. It's probably the worst acting of all of them. Even and Anthony Hopkins couldn't save this shit. No, actually, I think he made it I'm worse. I'm traumatized. Um, but I think what re- I think the plot is what really really killed me on this movie more than anything these the visual effects though uh, for me are amazing. the transformers it, it, saved us from slavery yeah um the um i think <laughs> well, one good thing is the visual effects and that's one thing michael bay does know to it's do the, well it's but the only that's thing that about is, it. yeah and let's stop it now enough with this transformers number two uh it was number one until i watched the other movie that is went to number one the snowman. <laughs> the snowman is and I have to a say, missed it's opportunity. It's a touchy subject because the book by Joe Nesboy is one of my favourite books I've ever read. Mm. And well, I was so excited about this unfo- movie. Unfortunately, you've got a decent plot, you've got good actors, but when you don't have a script yeah. and it just looks like they were bored one weekend and done this just movie Just did in it two over a weekend, yeah. Because... What the, what the even what the way there's no expression, there's no passion, there's no nothing. Yeah. They're just talking like, their lines, and that's Michael Fassbender. It. You're going down the Gerald well, Butler. Yeah, road. he's going. Stop. You're right, he's he's just like they just grabbed hands and they're following Nicolas Cage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't like it because it was slow. There was no chemistry. The it wasn't really scary. The snowman looked Retail. funny, <laughs> and we we paused and we laughed. Val Kilmer is in this. That was Shit. a dub. Was and J.K. Simmons. Has yeah. a horrible accent and he plays this weird person. This stupid, perverted. Don't watch it. Give it a miss. I'm not British people... guy that talks like this because he thinks. Because he's a politician. Because all po- English politicians, we talk like this. Ha 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 ha. Shame on you for doing this to that mm. book. My worst movie of the year. This will come as no surprise. It's Fifty Shades of uh, Grey. Fifty Shades Darker. Darker. Fifty Shades Darker. Okay. Shush. It is demeaning to women. I know it's trying to say that the women have the power in this movie. They do not. This idiot Christian Grey has the power. He does not have the power. They've got no chemistry. They keep having sex with pants on. What, did you get your ideas from the room? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, the, um, I think the, um, the, biggest, the biggest question mark on this movie for me was the helicopter scene that you've probably seen in the trailer. Oh, God. Right, no, I'm going to spoil it for you because if you haven't seen it by now, you're not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not going to fucking see it by now. All right, falls down in the helicopter. He's go, he goes missing. He's on the news. Comes back, the opens next the door. Next with a bit day, of dust on his with face. With a bit of dust on his face. Hi, right, guys, I'm back. And everyone's like, hey. 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 And it's not brought up again in this movie. They do... This makes... Sorry, but this makes the room look like it makes sense. It makes the room look sexy. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, if you had better actors... But anyway, this book was shit anyway. Badly written. Shame on you. Um, this movie sucked. I hated it. We actually had to pause it and laugh. We saw it as a, as a comedy. It's not supposed to be a comedy. It's supposed to be a drama, an erotic movie. If you're going to have sex... 
take your pants off. Oh, uh, come on. No. It is, doesn't happen like that. It doesn't is, just go is, in. This is just <laughs> this is a movie made for the shallowest of uh, women, I think, out there. This is just mm -hmm. a sad excuse for women to yeah. watch to want to yeah. that want to watch porn, but just don't want to tell people that they want to watch, watch porn. Just fucking watch porn and get and, it done with. And um, they have no chemistry between them at all. And yeah, the actors were as stale as a flat piece of bread. Right, no, I haven't seen this bad chemistry since Twilight. Um, it's actually worse than Twilight. I think it can be actually worse than Twilight, yeah. Because these are actually good actors. I've yeah. seen, I, um, I don't know, I can't remember and his name. But um, uh, Jamie Dornan, Doran. I, I've seen this guy in other I've movies. I've seen him act good in Once Upon a Time, the series. No, 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 I've seen him in like with proper what roles. Are you and doing? He, but here, you can tell that these two do not want to be in this movie. They no. just want to get paid the, the easy cash, no. right, and just fuck off. The only thing that's good about this movie is that she's wearing a really pretty matte lipstick, <laughs> which I went and bought after the. Well, I saw it Cosmopolitan. Unbelievable. Anyway, guys, that was Christina's top. 15 worst shit bombs of the year. I hope you agree with me. Don't hate me about the split thing. Well, anyway, I have my reasons. If you, if you agree, if you don't agree, write in the comments below. Get ready for uh, best of Christina's worst and best of mine also, guys. So, until next time, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.